Hello, you want to look at the camera? Hey, O'Malley. He's independent enough now. He's not a little kitten anymore. Not really. Hello, you want to look at the camera? He's one of his best buddies now. It's actually surprising because he's usually a loner. But he likes him. Don't play with the clay dude, alright? Hey, Wanted to get him running around. He'll run around everywhere and jump in the gate and all that. Hello, you want Over there. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Once in that teacup. I am legitimately surprised how these two like each other as much as they do. I'm off to bed. All right, little buddy. Let's see, jump down and run around. We had his brother, like I said in the first video, did for Jurassic June, but uh, we were going to uh, adopt him to my sister's boyfriend, and we did that. So he's now with them, and oh, he's down. <laughs> He's just a little toddler. Little kitty calm. Let's see if I come back. Oh, I'm joined by Figaro now. Just want to do this real quick video. I had to go on a short two day hiatus for uh, Jurassic Chats, but I'll be back tomorrow, Friday, uh, <laughs> with a special video. But I uh, just want to do this video because uh, my phone's been down, so I went back and looked. Uh, and some, many people have started to see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I won't get to see it for another two weeks, so gotta stay away from all spoilers and all that. I've already heard a, a rumor going around about the little girl in the film, and I hope it's not true, because it sounds like a really stupid plot point, if you ask me. I hope it's not true, but, you know, just going off the top of my head. Yeah, he came in here. Uh... Frankly, I'm the type of person that, especially when I hype a movie up so much, and I usually break myself for, you know, people aren't going to like the movie. I did not do that with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I didn't do that with uh, The Last Jedi, and I did not do that with Kong Skull Island. And I literally get depressed any time there's a, just a tiny bit of... <coughs> uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I just guess, uh, just critical response, I got figure on me now. Uh, but yeah, like, after Kong Skull Island, I love the movie, but I know, like, some of the people closer to who I watched didn't like it, like Matthew Brando didn't like it, I don't know about, uh, much of everyone else, but that kind of put a downer on me, because I know he was, uh, really looking forward to the film, even though he liked Alien Covenant, I think, I can't remember, I didn't like Alien Covenant at all, uh, with... The Last Jedi, I mean, Star Wars, you hype it up. Everyone, Most of everyone seemed to like The Force Awakens. I liked it. Uh, I haven't seen The Last Jedi still, but I know a lot of people didn't like that. And I remember when the first reviewers were coming out and everyone was so ticked off. It really put me down like, oh man, how bad can this be? And then with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, uh, typically, because I know that Jurassic World got, you know relatively enough of a negative response. Some people really didn't like it. I know Jurassic Collectibles, he really didn't like it. However, I saw his review, or, you know, his spoiler-free review, and he said that he liked it enough. Still suffers from a few of the tropes, but he said he liked it a lot more than Jurassic World. Uh, and then I turned to Mr. H, because he was, uh, you know, I like, I like Mr. H's videos. Uh, however, I don't think I'm going to go to him for, uh, Movie reviews anymore, cause I mean he didn't he didn't like Infinity War. I think he said he didn't he liked you know some of it, but he didn't like Infinity War that much from what I remember. Uh, and he 
on his video that he entitled, I didn't watch his full video because, you know, uh, spoilers were in it, uh, he thinks the franchise is extinct and he did not like, uh, he didn't like Fallen Kingdom at all, from what uh, I saw a little bit of. So I was feeling really down after seeing kind of the more negative reviews of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Especially with the Rotten Tomatoes score, but I don't, I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, that's 66% right now. And that score has got to raise up somehow, because there is no way Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is, is worse than Sharknado. And I can definitely say from a general moviegoer standpoint, it's going to be better than The Last Jedi. But I also feel it's going to be somewhat like, uh, from what I've heard of the film... It's going to have that kind of Empire Strikes Back kind of feel where it's taking us in a completely different direction than we thought we were going to go. Even though we've been kind of told that it's going to go in a completely uh, different direction than what we were going to go. Oh, hush you. Uh, and then I, I, I want to get more of a, instead of the critic response, although Jurassic Collectibles isn't really a critic, he just loves Jurassic Park. And I know he didn't really like Jurassic World, even though I love Jurassic World personally. I walked out of the, of the movie happy. My goal in when I see a film is, here's what I do. I go in thinking it is going to be a bad film. I, I always walk out happy. Kong Skull Island, happy. Pirates of the Caribbean, happy. Although after thinking about it a lot, I can definitely say that I'm disappointed of how uh, the franchise of Pirates has ended. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 walked out really happy. Uh, you know, just in general, I haven't really gone into the theater a lot to see uh, movies. Wanting to see Infinity War came out extremely happy. I still haven't done my review of it, but I have to say, with Infinity War, I can't think of anything bad about the movie, personally. Oh, thank you. I really can't think of anything critical, any kind of, you know, bad things to say about Infinity War. As much as I try, I just love that movie so much. It's probably my second favorite superhero movie of all time. Uh, um, if he... He's just over here. Also, check out my new Jurassic World toy. You know, fuzzy blanket. Girls actually bought this for me at Walmart. So it's pretty cool. Gotta do a review on it or something. Uh, I'm just trying to think of it. So I went out and looked for more, you know... There's not very many uh, non-spoiler reviews. But I looked specifically for non-spoiler reviews. And all the non-spoiler reviews kind of had the same kind of problems. And... I trust another guy, which I'll get to in a second. They all had the same similar problems, but they all enjoyed the movie. The movie. They all liked the movie. So that kind of picked my spirits up a little bit. Uh, and then I went to Jurassic underscore World 2018 because I went to Instagram right after in, uh, YouTube. Uh, but I didn't read any of the spoiler reviews or anything. Uh, comments or anything. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, so I went to him because I trust... Uh, I can't, I always forget his name, I gotta look up his name, man. I'm about to do a live stream with him, and I can't remember his name, I thought it was James. Although I could be thinking of Gaming Beaver. Hey, buddy. But, uh, he had the same problems, really, that the non spoiler reviewers had, and I can honestly say I kind of expect that from mm, the franchise, really, of Jurassic World, specifically. Because, re-watching Jurassic World, I do see how... Owen and Claire's characters really kind of fell flat, but and I can't wait to see the film to see how they kind of progress a little bit. Uh, and I heard that a lot of people didn't like uh, uh, Zaya and Franklin's character characters, but uh, from what I can see of them, like I kind of enjoy them. And I heard and from Jurassic World underscore eighteen, you know, I'm just gonna say Jar. Uh, JW2018 for now on. Uh, he liked the characters, and uh, he he explained a lot of stuff, and I kind of I agree with all of his bad stuff. You know what they said? I think works, but a lot of the good stuff that he said about the film really picked up my spirits. So I want to thank you, man, for really picking up my spirits, because I, I can't help it. That's one of my flaws. When I see a negative about something, it puts me down. Like, same thing with Alien Covenant, but I got to see Alien Covenant really quickly right after the reviews started coming in, you know. And I just, uh, I completely agreed with them. I just hate Alien Covenant, man. I hate that movie. Oh, my gosh. 
I'd rather, I don't want to say anything bad anymore about that movie. But anyway, thanks, uh, man, JW2018. And I can't wait to do the live stream with him, too, and, and Clayton Fioriti. And uh, Clayton Fioriti as well, he got to see the film. Uh, and he said he really enjoyed it. I haven't seen, you know, his non spoiler review yet. Or at least some of the what he's got to say about it. But uh, as far as I know, he said he loved the film. And I think, in general, it's going to be. I think critics are not going to like the film. I don't think critics are going to like the film. However, they did like The Last Jedi, you know, money in the pocket. Uh, but I think fans and moviegoers, just like Jurassic World, are going to love the film. You know, except for the few fans who didn't like Jurassic World, thought it was, you know, some of the stuff that wasn't good. Like Jurassic uh, underscore World 2018. But of course, I was one of the fans that really liked Jurassic World and walked out pleasantly happy. Hey, buddy. And anyway, this movie's, this, uh, this video's going long enough. It's more of a little bit of a rant video. And Jurassic Jets will be right back uh, tomorrow. Uh, but thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed uh, my little talk. And what do y'all guys think? What are y'all's uh, opinions down in the comment section below? Please, no spoilers. No, tr don't. Because I got, I got, I read the comments for y'all. But please, do not spoil anything in the comments if you've already seen the film. Uh, don't come to the channel and try to be little uh, Debbie Downers. You know what I mean? But I will take, uh, you know your critical response to the film in a non-spoiler fashion. So thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. <laughs> hey buddy. Look at the camera. Look, look at the camera.